like a bow. Hello, my beautiful toxic gang members. And today we're going to be talking about three signs, how to tell if a guy likes, doesn't like you through text, okay? Because sometimes if you want to save your time, if you're able to tell if a guy likes you, if a guy isn't really interested in you, interested in you through text, that's, that'll save you a lot of time. And let me tell you something before we begin this. Initially, when a guy likes you, you're, a guy's going to be less invested in the beginning. So in the beginning, bef I'm sorry to say this, but before the sex, you have to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more lenient with their texting habits. They don't know you yet. You know what I'm saying? Before you go on a date, but they should they should still be excited. Okay, when you sh when you get really hard on them, it's after the date, and even more importantly, after the sex. Because, but before we begin, I'm getting ahead of myself, okay? Um, before we begin, this is to remove all the freeloading spirit, all the needy spirit, all the Melissa spirit, all the Tyrones out there. Be gone. Be gone right now. Sorry, sorry. I'm good. I'm, I like the way it sounds, right? <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Um... Since we had we we have three hundred thousand subscribers, people, thank you very much. God damn it, I'm so grateful for you guys. And because of that, we're having thirty percent off all of my courses, except Nice Girl. All right, thirty percent off um, the Psychological Game of Attraction, and thirty percent off the um, 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 Natural Chemistry. You can click on the description down below to get it. You could the coupon code is in the description. Okay, um, and if for, if you don't know. The Psychological Game of Attraction is a course for women who are single. Nice, the Natural Chemistry is a course for women who are in relationships. So you should check it out. Um, and Nice Girl right here, it's a course that I made for Nice Girl. It's only available, it's only usually available for, um, for people in, in um, for, it's, only, it's usually available on, in the month of July and November. But because it's a special occasion, 300,000 subscribers, I'm making it available for you guys in the next one day for 29 hours left for you guys to purchase this. When this is done, it's, it's going to be over, okay? So you guys are going to be able to purchase it now before I put it back into its grave and I release it again next in, in, in November, okay? All right. With that being said, I already paid my bills. Um, and um, yeah. Oh, and last thing, I'm going to New York City. I'm, I'm having a seminar all across the country, the United States. Click on the description down below to see if I'm going to your city, okay? So the first thing is first, okay, is that at first, before sex, the guy's going to be doing everything right. I mean, think about that. He wants something from you, so of course he behaves. The, the only way to get a child to behave is to, is to offer him a surprise, to offer him a prize. If Surprise, prize. Wow, surprise, prize. Prize is short for surprise. Wow, look at that, right? Um, the way to get a child to behave is to offer him a reward in order for him to behave. And you'll notice that child behaves. Guys, if you if, if they have the feeling that they can have sex with you, if they behave the right way, they're going to text you fast. Let me tell you something. Dicks respond quick. They respond eloquently. Dicks are incredible at making you feel validated. Okay, so remember that. Um, um, at, at first, before sex, he's going to do everything right. And before the, and, and perhaps before the date. What I'm trying to say, in the beginning, have a little bit more leniency. Because if he's cocky enough also, or if he's not interested enough, he's going to show these signs, actually. So at, at, at the least, you're able to remove the cocky dudes and the guys who are not interested in you. Okay, this will eliminate a lot of bullshit. It's, this is not going to fix the problems, right? It's not going to help you find the right one, but it's going to it's going to make it quicker. It's going to make eliminating the wrong guys quicker because your responsibility as a woman, you just for you, your responsibility. <laughs> take that eye, you're messing with my eye. Mm, mm, and listen, mm. <laughs> your <laughs> your responsibility as a woman. <laughs> Your responsibility as a woman is to be able to, to identify false advertisement. Guys who falsely say they like it when they don't. Guys who falsely say they're this when they're really that. That's your responsibility because everyone's trying to lie to you. You're like a, 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 an employer who has a job to offer and you have a bunch of fake resumes. Of course people are going to fake their resumes to get the job. So, so, so it's your responsibility to be able to read these types of things. right? So the first thing's first, right? 
He takes a long time to respond, but acts enthusiastic. To me, the number one sign that a woman and a man doesn't like me is if when they take a long time to respond. And then they text me enthusiastically. Lord in heaven, have mercy, man. Look, man, every single time, every si the, the one time that I got played the most was because of this. Every single time a woman sends me mixed signals, every single time I, I end up hating somebody or not hating somebody, but every single time I, I, I end up feeling like, how can I say this? Like, you know that those frustrating relationships where you don't know if they like you, where, where you're so anxious just to hear a response for them? Every single time I'm, I'm, I've, been in those, I've been in those situations, it's because they took more than 10 hours to respond. And there's always an excuse. But let me tell you something. Anytime somebody takes more than 10 hours to respond, that's a red flag. And then you'll notice this because you feel anxious. You, 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 it ruins your day. Okay, that's the first one. In fact, that one you should never, ever tolerate. Sorry, woo, man, sorry, sorry, because I, <laughs> traumatic. The next one is his, but I'll be honest with you, all of these matter. Actually, the last one, the last one that I have to say matters the most, but the next one, I'm, I'm going to say matter, but not as much as the first one and the last one. Not as much as the one I just said and the one that I'm going to say last, okay? The second one is his text messages are short. Now, mind you, he could be one of those people who doesn't like to text, okay? I get it, right? In fact, I I'm a tired person. I don't like to text too much over text, right? I, I prefer to meet the person in person. So he takes his text messages are very short, unenthusiastic, not a lot of ha-has and LOLs. But you say not to do that. Not the whole world doesn't watch doesn't watch my goddamn channel, Melissa. Okay, calm down. Okay, the world doesn't watch my channel. Most people send LOLs and hahas. All right. So if you don't, if you're not, if you're seeing that blandness, that's a wrap. And, and, and short responses along. Lord have mercy. Along with taking ten hours to respond. Next one. Only hit you up to bang. <laughs> well, and no conversation over text. Well, you know, <laughs> but. Right? Eh. He only asked you to come over, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Look, this is the reason why I say these are not that bad because sometimes it happens where you may not like the person the first week, second week, but it happens to me. Over time, you end up liking them. Like, over time, they end up liking you. And you'll notice that they may do the whole taking a long time to respond and the text messages are slow. And then as soon as they start developing feelings, you'll notice they start texting you quicker. They start being more enthusiastic. Like everything just changes. And that takes around, like if a guy doesn't like you in the first date or second date, the limit should be another three dates. No, another two or three dates. So it could be another like, another f two months. If you don't see any changes in his behavior, it just means that's his limit, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15. 16. Holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle. He's a, he's a bad uncle. Get out. Shut up, Melissa. You should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's, it's your bodyguard. Without this, your, whatever feminine energy you create, will be destroyed by the outside because your your fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man, <laughs> you know, it, you know. Now, the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy. Right. This one would this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. 
after that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace. And even the dress code, they, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you could pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10-day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think the, the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.